welcome to the Atlanta Public Schools Infinite Campus Training video, Creating Categories. After viewing this video, teachers will create categories for class sections in Infinite Campus. To get started, you need to log in to Infinite Campus. If you need assistance, there are three ways you can get help. One, to contact your on-site Infinite Campus contact person. Two is to view the video on logging in and logging off Infinite Campus. And three, to call client support at 404-802-1000. After logging in, verify that you are in a section to which grades will be given. Next, over on the left side on the index tab, expand the instruction folder. Then click on assignment. In setting up your gradebook, you will use the first four options on the Assignment tab. For this video, we are now ready to click on Edit Categories. Next, click on Create Category. You'll fill out the information needed on this screen. In this case, we need to write the name of the category. And a category is a collection of assignments for your class. An example would be homework, test, article review, something of that sort. So for our example, we're going to create a category called article reviews. If you're going to weight this category, you'll type in your percentage. In our example, it's worth 10%. For sequence, we'll leave that as one. Sequence simply determines the order in which the categories appear in reports or when you open up your gradebook. Exclude this category from, group, from calculation means that the assignments in the category will not be included in calculating the grade for your students. Teachers sometimes use this to create a category for pretest or a checklist for field trips where they're able to go in and check off students. Next, we'll go down to the sections. In the case of middle and high school courses, all the sections attached to a course would be listed here. So you would have multiple checkboxes. To attach the category article reviews to multiple sections, you place a check mark next to each section you would like included. Once you select a section, the grading task options appears. You select the grading task, which is the task where the final grade for a course is given. In this case, for elementary, it would be semester. For middle and high, it may be semester or term two. You need to again check with your on-site infinite campus person to make sure this is correct. While it can be changed later on, it is an extremely tedious process. From here, you'll save the category. Once you've saved the category, click on Back to Categories. Now, you'll see a list of categories that you've created for the section. Notice Article Reviews is now listed. The middle column tells us which section and which tasks this category has been created for. In our example, this is a reading grade five class, their second section, and it is attached to the semester grade. Next, we know that the weight for this section or for this category is 10%. And again, you have the option to exclude from grading or to drop the lowest percent. Note that the weights should equal 100%. In our example, we have 110%, so we need to make an adjustment. So the next thing is to be able to edit a category. We'd like to change the article reviews to a weight of 0%. To do this, you click on the link under category for the article reviews or the category that you would like to correct. Now, the window opens again and you can make changes to your category. Remember to save 
then click back to categories. Notice now that the weight is 0% and we now have 100% for our weight. If you would like to delete a category altogether, again, click on the link that you would use to edit the category. Notice along the top at the far right, there's delete category. If this category already had assignments attached to the category, you would be unable to delete it until you deleted all of your assignments. So go ahead and delete the category. Again, as always, pay attention to the dialog boxes at Infinite Campus. In our case, we'll click OK to confirm we do want to delete. Now, looking at my list of categories, article reviews is no longer a category listed. So to review, we logged into Infinite Campus, expanded the instruction folder, clicked on assignments. Then we decided to edit categories. When you create a new category, you fill out the appropriate information, selecting the sections and making sure you click on the appropriate grading task. Make sure that you save your category and that your percentages total 100%. This has been the Infinite Campus training video creating categories. If you need further assistance, please remember to contact your school-based Infinite Campus contact person. Music